but you know, we, we, yeah. we got are you gonna have a second date what's gonna happen yeah i don't know honestly she had a long jacket a long sweater on high heels a long sweater know. isn't it like 80 degrees well in puerto rico it's it's always colder in the hotels you know oh in the hotel okay all right I have no idea what's going on underneath there. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I, mm. So you think she was covering? Mm. She thinks she was hiding stuff. Maybe. That's that's your prognosis there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, everything I'm everything I'm hiding is metaphorical, right? So it's a little yes, different. Yes, that's true. That's Clothes right. won't cover it up. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Dave with the soup, ice in his veins. Josh cracking jokes, never mundane. Oh my wild card, twisting your brain. Together they roll. FTS the name. Life's petty props, kick to the curb. Dave got the logic, never disturbed. Josh with the punchline, sharp like a verb. All my the eccentric, slick like a herb. Friends talk to shop, never gonna stop. Solving life's troubles while they spin it. And welcome to the FTS podcast, Friends Talking Shop. We are coming to you live from different locations. Uh, always a different. Uh, we're not live. Are we live? We're not live. Well, we're I mean, live. we're alive no. when we're doing this, and it's live while we do it. But isn't everything that's recorded live in that sense of the definition? That's true. Like in old TV shows, when they say live, record live in front of a live audience studio or whatever. Audience. They, that's different. Off. No, recorded in front of a live studio audience. Oh, that's true. They're recorded. But it's not yes. recorded live in front of a live studio audience. That Why would be Saturday you know, Live. Can I ask you a question speaking <laughs> of this topic? We haven't even gotten the intros. No, but this is actually fascinating the, about this up because I think about, yeah. like, to me, the, the number one sort of recorded, if you will, audio thing, and that was Howard Stern. Okay. It, yeah. it still is. And still he has is. Fred Norris, who is mm-hmm. so magical in terms of injecting live different types of sounds and noises right seamlessly why don't why can't we do that mm. so it's it's funny you bring that up because i actually got a soundboard for as a birthday gift from my sister really oh. yes and i thought i had it working last you didn't i didn't even tell you guys i had it plugged in and, and ready to go and it wouldn't record the the noises so oh, you're doing pushing- yeah, I was doing some, and- yeah, and I was getting any response from you guys. I thought I would, you know. So I'm working on that. I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong. We did it on. It uh, we anyway. I used to do online things on, you know, when I back in my OnlyFans days. Yeah, of course. And, um, <laughs> no, we would have events for Luchellas. If you guys had been on it. You guys helped me with yes. the opening materials, and we'd actually have laugh tracks. But I'd have Emma play the, put the sound next to the microphone yeah hmm. that's one way to do it. do it but yeah old, old school but i yeah. think we should do that and i think that josh should be our fred norris i'm gonna get that version. soundboard i'm gonna get that soundboard working i'm gonna figure it out and we'll, we'll have something like that so you have okay. which sounds are on your like that you're ready to go is it a laugh tracks is it it's a yeah it's like uh 20 things it's yeah. laughter it's all that stuff yeah the normal stuff you would think that could about. backfire though you know, that, yeah, that it could, could and you, you got to be, you know, judicious with it. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, wh- why All don't right. you t- why don't you tell them what the hell we're doing, Dan? <laughs> right, uh, well, welcome. Is. Well, uh, let's see. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello. Everyone. Yes, we're here. It's our seventy fifth episode. Seventy five. Uh, we've uh-huh. gotten all the way to seventy five. Do you know? I happen to have some interesting things about the number seventy five. No. Oh. oh no way! I do. I do. Do you know that it's the atomic number for uranium? Yes, I did know that. Rectium? What? <laughs> yes. Uh, Renium, R-H-E-N-I-U-M. Uh, it's the age limit for Canadian senators. Oh, they have uh, an age but, limit. Isn't that interesting that they wow. have an age limit? We don't. Wow. We, should. It, we in, should. In America, that's called yeah. Bidenium. <laughs> uh, uh, where's the rim shot there, uh, Josh? Yeah, that, that's, dude, uh, I would have that had, that, had the soundboard fi- yeah. I had that figured out. Here's the last one I got. It's the number of balls in a standard game of bingo in the United States. As 75. If, 75 balls. Uh, that makes sense. Because there's uh, five, no, there's, yeah, five rows, five columns, B-I-N-G-O. Okay. And so it would be divisible by five. <laughs> yes, that's that's true. Do you know? Right? Uh, and 75 I, was, was Mean Joe Green. I, I always uh, equate. Good one. Yes. Any other 75s that you can remember? Any famous... That's the biggest one. Yeah, that's the one that stands out. I can't. I can think of packages, no. but they're not Mm-mm. famous. All right. Well, we're episode seventy-five. We're glad to be here. We're all in different places. Let's kind of catch up with everybody first. With me, as usual, is my good buddy Josh. Josh, how are you doing? Where are you calling in from? 
I'm back in Philly. Um, I was uh, away for a little bit, moving the kids back into college. By the way, uh, before I go into that, happy birthday to Dave. It's Dave, Dave just had his 55th. Omar, oh, did you know right. that? Did you wish him a happy birthday? He has it on his freaking name. Yeah, I know. He's reminding us <laughs> that he little, just turned 55. It's a little thirsty 55. for me, but yes. <laughs> well, oh, you don't know me very well then. But I had a very exhausting week and a half. I had to move my daughter into school and my son into school pretty much back to back. And it was uh, back breaking. Um, my back has seen better days. What's the but heaviest we, thing you lifted? So my son moved off campus into an apartment. And so we had to basically furnish a lot of it. Um, so I had to move. Uh, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't move the mattress, but I had to move a chair, a desk, um, furniture like that. Things like that. That's TV, legit. TV that, stand. It, yeah. With, with the drawers in? Heavy? No, I had to, I had to put it together. So I, and we ordered oh, it. Yeah. Okay. And I had to put it together. So that took a, a good 90 No couches? Minutes. The couches were there from the old tenants, but they were really gross. So oh, we yeah. got So we got couch covers to put over. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good deal. Well, congrats. You got kids in college. Congratulations. Yeah, it's unbelievable. But on the way to my daughter's school, she goes to school in Tennessee, we stopped at a place called Gatlinburg. Tennessee. You ever hear of Gatlinburg? Tennessee. I've been there. Yeah, you, oh, you've been there? I've been oh, there. It's, you ever been to Gatlinburg? the Wisconsin Dells of, uh, of Tennessee. What are the Wisconsin Dells? It's kind of a touristy, right? Tourist traffic yes. kind of place. Yeah. Omar, are you paying attention? I'm singing the song, Tennessee. Yeah, have you ever been to Gatlinburg? No, it sounds like a place where they, they, they uh, have a bunch of nooses hanging from trees. No, <laughs> it's, not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. In fact, there's people from all over. You hear now, of, now it's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, now, that's true. That's a good point. It's kind of, you know what it's like? It's like if Park City, Utah and Atlantic City had a baby. Yes, well, yeah, you that, should come to Wisconsin Dells. That's that, what it is. That's Gatlinburg. Exactly. So we, you know, it was neat. We went up to the, the Smoky Mountains, the top of the Smoky Mountains, and, and you know, we went on a few, uh, a few hikes. And we actually, um, we were staying in this, this uh, hotel, which actually pretty nice. And we're watching TV. My, my wife and I and my daughter are watching TV, and my son's out on, on the balcony talking to his girlfriend. And it's like midnight, 12, 15, something like that. And so I'm just about falling asleep. and he opens the balcony door. He goes, you guys got to get out of here. Hurry. Like what? So we come out down the pathway to the hotel is a giant black bear. Really? Yes. And I filmed it. I'll, I got to send you the, uh, the footage of this. This bear comes over to the, the spa area, knocks down the trash can, starts going through the trash and then starts going to the cars put its paws up on this uh, uh, pickup truck. I thought it was going to get in the pickup truck. And then it just starts walking back and forth. And as the bear is behind the row of cars, there's four people coming back from the main road to, to, the, yeah, to the hotel. And I yelled from the no. balcony. I said, there's a, there's a bear. There's a bear. Be careful. And they were, they were flipped. They had no clue what the hell I was talking about, number one, or where it was. I'm trying to point, but it, it's, it's pitch dark and they can't see this black bear it was it was crazy how could a bear just go and it went right up to the door of the hotel and apparently it's done that several times if the bear would attack them would you keep filming of course yeah you don't ever stop filming (laughs) yeah okay you you don't stop this is all symptomatic of a larger issue right which is what the bears their eating cycles because of global warming and over and over um um uh, population of cities have mm. la- have affected their eating habits, so they have to come in the cities to find food. Josh, your child is part of the problem. <laughs> well, it also could be that um, these people have decided to build a Atlantic City type boardwalk in in uh, a mountain range. <laughs> Who, bears- which which I also blame that your child for. Problem. Yeah, you blame my my kids for that. Yes, I blame your your spawn. Yes. Yeah, but my kids are not even into um, commercial real estate, so they they had nothing to do with the build out of Gatlinburg. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, Ted, yeah. I'll, I'll let Dave decide. I'll, I'll, I'll let the audience decide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we stopped at this is uh, my my uh, my relatives have heard me talk about this too often. But um, you ever hear of Bucky's? Bucky the from uh, Captain America? No, no. the rest yeah. stop. There's a rest gas stop station. called yeah, Bucky's. Yeah, a giant yeah. gas station. Yes. 
Yes. It's freaking have you ever, amazing. Have you, ever, have, you ever, have you ever made love at a gas station before? Uh, no. No. If, now, this is the part where you tell us you have. And well, still- I will another time, perhaps. <laughs> at a gas station? Yeah. I, there's, there's nothing sanitary about that, unless it was in the car in the was gas station. Was someone you met parking at the lot. counter of the gas yes. station? Like, or was no. it unwarranted, no. uh, non-consensual, where you were in the bathroom and someone was trying Neither. to get yeah, it? Neither. Was it was someone I knew. <laughs> And listen, you don't, you know what's not in the word passion? Sanitary. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I have trouble even urinating at a gas station, let alone uh, getting naked and, and, and having uh, relations with someone. Who says I was naked? <laughs> well, that's kind of how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> Anyway, this 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 Bucky's. This is the first it's time I've ever sense. been. It blows everything yeah, to, it, to shame. Yeah. It's amazing. It is enormous. They're smoking their own Bucky's. brisket in there. They're smoking their own brisket in the Bucky's, and it's yeah. good. It's good. It made us want that we stopped there. We stopped there twice uh, on our journey after we were done with Gatlinburg, just because we wanted to go back to Bucky's. Clean bathrooms too. That's always oh, awesome. the bathrooms are immaculate. Yeah, and the yeah. stalls, There's- Omar. The stalls in the men's room, above them, they have lights. And if it's a red light, it's occupied. Green light, oh. free to go in. How brilliant is that? Instead of the banging or trying the lock or jiggling the door, something civilized. Thank you, Bucky's. Why doesn't everybody else do that? Yeah. Do they have, they, do they offer dental floss at the uh, safe? They have everything. Everything. Oh, wow. They have Bucky's pool noodles. There is a Bucky's mascot and the second Bucky's we went to it was walking around the store my wife took a picture with him oh this is fascinating it was the real Bucky's um you know that uh (laughs) Walmart's highest selling item in their stores are pooled noodles is that right true it's correct did you say pooled noodles or pool Pool, in a pool noodles yeah pool noodles yes that's their second highest selling item it's their highest selling item by volume, not by dollar amount. Um, by, by volume. Length. Yes. By. That's interesting that you say that. I would not think that. I question that stat. Yeah, I don't I'm believe be that on for record a second. For saying I don't agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> you, do you have a, do you have a Did you make to... that up? <laughs> no, I heard it on a podcast. <laughs> Probably a podcast like ours. Someone's going to say that to somebody else because they heard it in our podcast. Yeah, we're it's not saying still not truthful true. things on this podcast. <laughs> no, no. It was like Bloomberg or some shit like that. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Maybe. Pool noodles. Maybe. Interesting. It's because it's kind of seasonal. That's why I think it wouldn't be the number one item. I think it would be so, milk. So your hello topic, is it the bear or is it Bucky's? Which, if you had to, if you're forced it's to It's the whole like, trip. You, it's the whole it, trip to Gatlin. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, it's the whole trip to oh, Gatlin. God. So it's like, it's a cool, it's a cool little town. They got a, a you know one main strip like you know Park City has that one strip and you yeah. know like Atlantic City has the boardwalk but it's all it looks nice and then you walk down it and you go this is all shit <laughs> there's just there's nothing that appealing you know it's like everything's like a fud shop or a, a, a t-shirt store or some shit yeah. like that so yeah, it's like, yeah okay no, it's very it looks nice commercial. yeah but anyway Tennessee's a great state though I do enjoy Tennessee the great state of Tennessee that's right. Well, speaking of great, uh, also with me this episode is uh, who <laughs> look like you're in Puerto Rico, Omar. Yeah, how have you been? How have you been, man? Um, speaking of Middle America, I was in Walmart. <laughs> okay, right? in Puerto Rico. Um, yes, actually, yeah. Okay, and because I've had my father staying with me, which is. Um, a larger topic yeah. for the last few weeks. Okay. And um, my father only wants to get nut. He wants to get nuts. He wants. When you say like, he wants to get nuts, like, do you mean the, the noun or he wants to, to go crazy? Get, get, yeah. He wants <laughs> walnuts, almonds. Okay. There we go. Cashews. Yeah. He wants. Um. Uh, and he also wants uh vitamin C pills. Okay. And he only wants them from Wa- Costco. From Costco. Or but Walmart. you were in a Walmart. Mm-hmm. Walmart was a distant second, but <laughs> there's no way I was going to a Costco with my dad. Right? <laughs> so I go to the Costco 
Costco okay. for a for let me just uh, let me just ask this question because it seems yeah. to be the obvious lead in. Your dad's a bit of a hoarder. Yeah. So I would imagine that Costco to a hoarder must be like Disneyland to a serial. Dream come true. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just got to be like <sighs> mind blown. Yeah. Yeah. But when he goes there, it's like for like seven hours. Right. <laughs> and so <laughs> when I when I'm with him, that's not an option. Yeah. Which is why I chose to go to Walmart. I'm like, I'll get these three things for you. I got his walnuts. I got yeah. his um, uh, skim milk. Okay. And I got his vitamin C pills. Okay. And a, and a watermelon. And a watermelon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the line is, and do you guys, look, I don't know if you guys have any awareness of the stuff. I don't know what your skill. I think like, for example, one of my overlooked skills is I can be in a random restaurant anywhere in the world. And I'm able to sense where the bathroom is without asking anybody. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. See, that's um. I don't know how no, great a skill that is. No. Yeah, there's let, so my point this. is, when I'm at Walmart, there was like 17 fucking lines. You'll never find the bathroom at Walmart. And <laughs> I and I got. I'm like, you want? I'm gonna walk through the furthest lines, which have the least amount of people, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there were three lines, and one of them, I'm one of them was normal, ten deep. Okay. And people in line. Another line, which was like they had a person at the counter checking things in. Another line was self check out. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. they had like, there are four machines there, but the line was 35 deep. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. And then there was another line that was also self checkout, but just one counter. Mm -hmm. And that was six deep. Which one would you guys have chosen? And six I deep. chose, I chose one, which I won't, I'll, I'll curious. I answered this. And the whole time I was watching obsessively. If yeah. I made the right Always. decision, I do that all the time, all the time. If it's a multi line situation, I choose one and then I look at where I would or my second place right. and I watch that person. You to track see if the they, person in front. Yeah, of they yep. track the person to see if they get there before I get. So which one them. have you? Which one would you have chosen? Six deep. Yeah, I think with, you're you with let us self check out with only one yeah. self checkout. Of course, I chose but that obviously too. That's it was wrong. the wrong decision. Yes, it was the wrong. Oh, decision. it was wrong. Yeah, yeah it was well, by by mm -hmm. by about. 12 minutes. The problem with self checkout is that people are you, idiots. Yes. If you get, if you get yeah. in a line where one person doesn't know what the hell they're yep. doing yeah. or they have, or they have something that doesn't have a, a, a QR code scanning QR code or barcode. Yeah. Then it's a nightmare. Yep. It's a nightmare. Yep. What was the right answer then? You need to go to the, it 10 was deep. the 30, 30 deep with the, with the, yeah, uh, with 30 with deep the six, six with the six yeah. terminals. Go with yep. more terminals. Because yep. then, you, honestly, you, if you do the math, idiot. thirty divided by six is five. Five. So you're only really in the fifth. And fifth you're place. diversified, unlike Josh's yeah. uh, portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> Can yeah. I tell you my, my my quick Walmart story? This yeah. was a long time ago. I was in first time I was ever in a Walmart ever, and uh, I had time to kill before uh, I was going somewhere, and I had time to kill, and it was right next to where I was going. I'm like, oh, I'll just pop in there and look around. And I ended up um, was getting some snack or whatever. So I stood in line and behind me in line or in front of me in line was a mother um, and her daughter. And the daughter was uh, an adult, you know, 28, 29, 30, whatever. And they're talking very casually to one another. And she's leaning over the car and they're just blah, 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 blah. We're in line forever. And it's taking forever. And after about like six minutes, the mother says to the daughter, um, Where's Chippy? I can't remember the kid's name, but it was a very weird name. Chippy. I ruined it. I ruined it. I ruined it. Where's Chippy? And the mother goes, oh, hmm, I don't know where Chippy is. And I'm just thinking, like, who the hell is Chippy? That's weird. What are they talking about? And then out of nowhere, from the middle of the friggin' aisle all the way down, comes this little five-year-old kid running up and jumps in his mom's arms. And that was Chippy. Now, the whole <laughs> time I'm thinking, for six minutes... In a giant Walmart, this mother and daughter had no concern of where their five-year-old was in this Walmart. No concern whatsoever. I think where's a safer place to let your kids run around? Walmart, Disney World, Target. <laughs> Target. <laughs> Why is that safe? I yeah. think Walmart's pretty fucking safe. I don't think so. There no, are that's... Of, there, there are a bunch that's... of guns there. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. They have but cameras there's... everywhere, and they're probably used to pedophiles because it's a fucking yeah. Walmart. 
Yeah, they're I don't, high alert. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's a safe place. It's a pedophile magnet. It's not a repellent. Yes, that's what I mean. So they have extra precautions. Oh yeah, that's right. They they really got it lock, on lockdown there at Walmart. Yeah, I think you can walk <laughs> right out with Skippy or whatever anytime you want. Skippy. Yeah. Chippy, that's, whatever the hell that kid's Chippy. name was. I, I couldn't believe it. They just they could, if my so wife loses just... sight, if, if, when my kids were that age, if my wife lost sight for a half a second, she would go into an, a, a hot panic. Oh my gosh, I was at. So let me tell you my story. I yeah. was at a McDonald's where they had the Playland. Yes, and, uh, I think it was one Sunday, and my kids were driving everyone nuts. And I said, "I'm going to take my son." And uh, maybe I was. I may have took all three kids. I said, "I'm going to take them someplace," and it's the middle of winter in Wisconsin, so we went to the McDonald's Playland. And so <laughs> right. we're, they're all playing, and all of a sudden I realized I can't find my son. Oh, like, worst feeling. Nowhere. And you know worst the Playland feeling. is like in a separate section from the rest of the restaurant, yep. right? Or if you can call it a restaurant. So I'm like, where is he? And I thought maybe he's in the little tube and he's not coming out. And I'm trying to look in there. And then I hear some kid, they're like, oh, everybody else, someone kid wet the, the slide. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, do I climb up there? What happens? I mean, I was panicking for a good 10 minutes or so. I had yeah, of daughters. course. I'm like, he is not in here. Of course. And I see him in the restaurant, run to the door where the playground is and turn around and runs out back, up the other direction. I'm like, there he is. Thank goodness. But what is he doing? He was like, haha, I was hiding in the bathroom. Oh my God. He thought that was really funny to do. Yeah. And, uh, no. I bet you he was probably, I don't know, seven or something like that. So uh, I forget what it But I was terrified. Yeah. I thought for sure he's gone. Yeah. Uh, and good luck explaining that. that to the wife. Oh, that would have been. I mean, we had three. So I'd say, look. Yeah, that's true. You did have Good three. news. We have two lovely daughters. <laughs> it's true. Bad news. Ben's gone. Well, how <laughs> Dave, are you doing, Dave? Dave? How are you doing, oh. Oh, oh, you be, oh, oh no, look you. at that. We both wanted yeah, to do it. Nobody ever gives Dave. We really want to even, we, if anybody has the most volatile life, it's Dave. It's Dave. It's Dave. This it might right be here. you, but okay. No. Well, I have a bone to pick with both of you. I blame both Ooh. of you for some bad luck that I had. Why, so, why is it bone to pick? Why can't it be a, I have a booger to pick with you guys? That would make I more sense, wouldn't it? Would be so much more interesting. You know I'm what? That makes more pick. sense. I have a booger to pick with you versus yeah, a booger. A booger can be different kinds of uh, viscosity, right? Different colors. True, but that is not the point. You don't pick bones. You pick boogers. Yeah. So this, yeah. The, the, this, this, the phrase makes more sense. Yeah. The way yeah. you phrased it. Yeah. Well, Sorry, I want to. I want to pick one and flick it at both yeah. of you. That's what I would <laughs> what, do, what do we do? What do we do? Because I'm driving. So as you know, I'm, I had to drive up. I'm in Minnesota right now. Um, I'm going roadside to roadside memorials. To... Roadside memorials? No, not roadside <laughs> memorials. Um, I'm on my way up to Mayo Clinic for an appointment tomorrow. Yep. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that's like. From a, I mean, every, yeah, David, clinic, right? David's getting a nose job. It was well over. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah. on. I only go to the top for that. But I'm driving. I'm like, ah, I got to get up there. I got the podcast. I don't think I'm going to make it on time. I'm like, and then I like, what's my topic? I'm like, kind of going through what my topic is. Yeah. And guess what I didn't see is I'm trying to think about my topic. A speed trap. A uh, speed trap, correct. Oh. I got caught going 84 in a 70-mile-an-hour zone. As Ooh. soon as I saw him, his light started to go on. I thought, I got it. He got me. So you I didn't try to run? Over. You didn't try to run? I, I, I thought, <laughs> let me think. We're in Minnesota. Right. I think I have a Packer thing on my car. So if they get a load of that, they're probably going to be shooting first. But you have Missouri yeah, plates. Question. He's also, he's also a white male. True. I, yeah, that's a good point. You got that I mean, going yeah, for you. No, there's no like George Floyd risk, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, that's yeah, right. they got that but, going. But, but, Dave, but Dave, here's the thing, right? Like you really, did you see, if it was me, I would have gotten off. I no, you tried, wouldn't. I thought about it. I thought, do I give this guy a story? Because I got a few. In, Be honest I don't, with him. Tell him how you hate, you, how you hate this podcast. You can't get out of it. <laughs> I could, yeah. I could like, use literally, it. like, please, like, honestly, take me to jail. It will, I could break the cycle I, of I having to record. The and excuse, he would start laughing, and you probably find a listener. The yeah. excuse that would that least likely to work would be, "I'm late for my podcast." That's why I was speeding. I don't think that's no, the one you want. He would to say, that. "I'm trying to meet, find this stupid podcast I'm on, which no one listens to." <laughs> Although we have a lot of listeners, maybe. So what happened? You got ticketed, obviously. Yeah, I, I, well, I unbuttoned my shirt. That didn't work. Yeah, that didn't uh, work. Was the cop? <laughs> was he? Was he? Uh, was he wearing any jewelry? I don't what? recall. I didn't. He had sunglasses. Oh, Ray Bans. 
No, what, they, what this guy was definitely this? listen. Someone any, we all picked on in high school. There's no question. That movie, bad, the bad no movie with uh, Harvey Harvey Keitel, uh, bad lieutenant. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. No bad reference. No. Nicholas Cage in that. Yeah, probably. So let yeah. me ask you something. What, so you were speeding just to get back so we could start this podcast. <laughs> well, I no, I was speeding. You were because speeding because that's how you normally drive. I set my, but normally yeah. I'm watching, I have ways, you know, I, the app. And it doesn't it tell you, it tells you a speed trap. It's so good. It'll tell me when the cops yeah. are, but then not, I, I wasn't paying attention. And I tried to sure Gabe is unable to talk himself out of a speeding ticket. I didn't try because yeah, it's the, hard to I do. I had my wife and my dad. Josh, for you, it is not for me. <laughs> Because I, I have a couple of excuses loaded in the chamber, ready to like go. What? And well, when I was going to, you know, I would start with, listen, you got me. It's all fair. But I just want you to know there's a guy, you know, tailing me. He was right on my tail and I sped up to get away from him. I don't know how you didn't see him. And uh, I saw so I said, oh, you're going to criticize him. That's you're going to criticize the cop. That's preposterous. That's not going to think that's no good. It's yeah, not but, bad, but you, normally it's not that, bad. It's terrible. For, hold on. Normally, when you do that, though, it's a very quick burst, and then you're back to your normal speed. Well, I'd say that you you caught me just as I burst, just as I was getting out of this guy's mm -hmm. way. Probably was on your tail for much longer than you think. Okay, what's your other? What are your other top top ones here? Yeah, what's what's the, what else? Uh, that was, and then buddy, unbuttoning my shirt. That's no, how. The <laughs> way to do it is say, "I'm sorry. This is so embarrassing. I'm so happy. I got to take it. I'm I've been dying to get out of this podcast. It's my fifth season. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm speeding. I'm well, probably going ninety five. Yeah. Because with, with, but these guys are always on my ass about it. And can I take a picture of the ticket? Because I'm going to show them why I can't do this anymore. And he'll start yeah. laughing. He'll yeah, start they, laughing. That, that's, yeah, that's not going to I don't know. I don't, yeah, that, I don't think I could pull that off. The only thing I was going to ask my dad to lay on the back seat, and I was going to say, my dad. He's, he's, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what you do. <laughs> what we do, I'll tell you what we do. If I'm with my wife, we always keep a uh, throw pillow in the car. <laughs> Yeah, and then if if the cops put the lights on, she stuffs the throw pillow under her shirt, and we go. I got to get her to the hospital. She's yeah. she's about to she's about to give birth. Do you need an escort? No, no, no. We're yes, fine. no, no escort, no escort. <laughs> she hates lights. <laughs> she she doesn't like it. it. Scares the baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. Well, I think we're all good. Let's go through some specifics. Here. Yes. All right. So first of all, you've been listening to uh, Friends Talking Shop. Uh, brought to you by Deacon Whiskey. Um, oh. And uh, we are a podcast that uh, basically this is how it works. The three of us come together every so often, not once a week, but every so often. And we each have a topic that we bring up and uh, we surprise each other with it and we discuss it. And we hope that we bring a smile along the way. So that's what we're going to do. But first, let me uh, give you some details about our podcast. We have an email. Uh, which I can no longer get into. Josh, I hope you're checking it because I've lost. I the check passport. it every day, every day. Okay. Uh, not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. The email address is uh, friends at FTS.media. Friends at FTS.media. Uh, please email us. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. We also have a website, which is friends talking shop dot weebly dot com. And, uh, but the granddaddy of them all is you got to check us out on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. We're at, at Friends Talking Shop. If you search that, you'll find lots of content. Thanks to Josh and all his hard work. Uh, there's, if you, you may not like the podcast, but you'll love the. Uh, wait, wait, I don't understand why am I why am I not getting any 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 accolades That's, for this? Um, you're lucky. Where, you're still about, part where, of it. Where's my hard work in this? Yeah. In this, that's, that's what we're asking. I ask queen. myself that every episode. Right. Right. Every episode. We could praise you for having a mic. You're laying it on pretty hard for Josh right now, Dave. This is like you on a first date. I don't know what's going on with you. Yeah. Well, listen. He yeah. appreciates what what the content. What more can he say? Credit where credits due. Thank you. Um, hey, but uh, before let's kick off the podcast now. Enough is enough. But yeah. First of all, I just want to say I'm a Packer fan. Josh is an Eagles fan. Yes. And Omar is a Ravens fan. Am I? Chair is creaking, by the way. So if you can hear that, I'm hear it a little bit. Um, what do we? What's the bet this year? I who's has the best record? Okay, who's going to go furthest? Let me let me, let me let me let me come back to this because, as you guys know, I catalog all our episodes, right? Yeah, and I look yeah. for things to put on in co for clips for content. And funny, I ran across two years ago. We made a bet 
about um, for a dinner on who had the best record, and the Eagles did. And I don't ever remember eating that dinner. I don't recall that. Happening. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. The Ravens on, had a better on, record. It's on video. <laughs> wait, wait. The sure? Ravens had a better record. Two years ago, the Eagles uh, went further. No, no, better record. No, it was it was whoever went further. Whoever went further. That was oh. the. I think it's under dispute. Let's cancel that one. Not under dispute. This year. <laughs> no, 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 David. Unlike you, my my name is not Welch. Uh, Josh, I'm happy to take you to dinner wherever, whenever you. you want. Just say thank whatever. you. Thank you. All right, I, Thank you. I, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll go in 50-50 with you. All right, so let's go double or nothing on that dinner, and we'll do the same bet this year. Okay, so who goes the furthest? Furthest. Not record. Rec- not record. Who goes the furthest? All right, That's I'm right. Gonna take, I'm going to take the Chiefs. Oh, no. No. You know, I That's did see David works. the other day. It is, I, 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 it's, it's sometimes I'm completely off about, and I love ripping on. The, 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 you know, the powerful people in this world, especially if they're white males. And so <laughs> I has, I've always had such a serious problem with the Green Bay Packers and their GMs Why? and how they're, and, and the ownership structure of the team and like, oh, yeah, yeah. They, and then how they handle the thing with Brett Favre and then how they handle it with Aaron Rodgers. All right, and is this, both, this is neither both, the time nor the place. No, wait, both, let, him, let him finish. Both no. times they were right. Yes. I mean, in spite of no. all the public outrage. About both transitions. I mean, it's insane. They were right. When's the last time that like somebody actually like steadfastly did it and were right? And we're right. Yeah, you're right. Twice. Yeah, it's yeah, I mean, a good point. I mean, it's nuts. Jordan Jordan Love, right? Is his name? Yeah, Jordan Love. Yep. What the fuck? I, I remember I, saying I to you, quarterback in the league. I remember hearing Colin Cowherd, that idiot, saying, you know, people are telling me that he doesn't got it. They're not yeah, having that's it. Right. He's, He's turned it. 180 right now. He's yeah, so yeah, into yeah. Yeah, I mean it's that. insane how good he is. It's and the system they have of having a. And by the way, just the audience should know this. We wanted to do this with Josh, of him not being on the podcast for three or four years and then coming on, hearing Dave and I at first. But unfortunately, <laughs> we weren't able to get that. Josh immediately wanted to be part of the starting team. <laughs> you know. you your lucky stars. <laughs> anyway, kudos to the to the GMs of the uh, Packers. Thank um, you. I will not question anything they do anymore. They've been right twice, flying in the face of public outcry, including my own. And I and I'm I'm unlike Josh, I'm willing to eat crow. Okay. Good for you. Very Listen, well. It's, Very it's well. It's another said. mark in the win column for white males. There it's, you go. Uh, what's there the you score? Go. Yeah. Very <laughs> underrated, by the way. Very <laughs> underrated. White males are the blacks of the twenty twenties. Oh jeez. I have to cut that out. <laughs> That's not right. Okay. Well, let's kick off the podcast. Have I missed anything on our intro? No, thank God you've not. All right. Josh. <laughs> Kick us off. What's your uh, what's your time? All right, I'm st- I'm starting things off. All right, look, this is a crazy idea, and I'm going to run it by you. And I had the I had the thought with the tr- with the traveling that I've been doing and the traveling I'm going to be doing. So, look, as I said before, when you asked me how I was doing, I uh, I had to drop both my kids off and move them in at school, and we then have a family weekend coming up with both schools, so we'll be traveling back to both yet again. Um, and then we have another trip planned um, where we'll be away for uh, a lot of day. travel. He walked me earlier today. It was so much. What's this? You have a lot of travel coming up in next. Yeah, it's well, it's, yeah, and it's all, it's if what we've done. But but the whole the whole genesis is, and I'm, this is going to be Phil Collins. You, he, he, yes, hear hear me out on this because this is going to sound <laughs> weird at first, but I want you to really really think about it. Okay? okay, I can hear it. I can hear it. So one of the problems coming that we run tonight. into, yes, yes, yeah, okay. Oh God, I knew that was coming. <laughs> and that's not Su- studio. Studio. I knew that. Yeah, I knew that was no. next. I knew that was next. I knew that was next. Anyway, <laughs> one of the issues that you have when you travel like this is you have to find a place for your dog, right? Yes. You got to find a place for your dog. Yeah. So my sister watches the dog. Sometimes. Yeah, that was a disaster. No, no, no. no, That's when we we watched her dogs. Oh, right. Uh, We have another woman through um, Facebook something that watches our dog on occasion, right? Mm -hmm. But the last two times we've gone away, which have been back-to-back trips over the course of like 10 days, my sisters watched the dog. And we just feel awful 
keep going to her and asking her, can you please watch our dog? Right. Hold on. Does she make it clear to you that she doesn't like having the dog with her? She's fine having the dog. She's very, she's very equipped. She has two dogs already. It's very different bringing a third into a two dog. So why situation. do you feel bad about bring... it? She owes it to you. Okay. Here's why I don't feel bad about it, but I do. And I said this to my sister when I was talking about this uh, last weekend because I thanked her, like her and my brother and all. Thank you so much for watching the dog. But. We're going away again, and our other person can't watch. We didn't want to put the burden on you again, so we went to the other person, and they're not available to watch the dog for our next trip, right, mm -hmm. next week. So, so she's like, well, watch it again. I watch her again. I'm like, well, see, here's the thing. When I keep going to you, I know that I'm going to get it paid back to me. It, oh. it, yes, I know that it's going to come back to me. So I'm so wait, trying so to hold be, on. Your sister is yeah. still having her dog stay with you in spite of the fact that her dog's a lunatic. Well, they haven't since that time, but I know that it's coming. I know the diaper that it's dog. coming. It's coming. And if I keep leaning on her with our dog, it's a, it's oh, a for certain coming. I see. So anyway, so I thought about this. Now, look, this is, this is, this is an idea, right? Biggest problem with having a dog is you're tethered to it. What if we came up with, now hear me out, I don't want you to jump down my throat, an AI dog, an artificial intelligence dog. So this dog will be robotic, but it will be built so it's made to feel, look, and act just like a dog. You can make it in any breed. You can teach them things through voice, as you can with AI, as we're getting better. It will, you can name the dog. It will respond to the name. It sleeps when its battery is low. It'll be like a dog bed that it can charge on. It just goes to the bed, sleeps. You never have to walk this thing in the winter. It never is going to have accidents. You don't have to train it like a dog. It's not going to bark. And when you go away, you plug it in and you go. And when you come home, it will be trained to come to the door because it's this all is charged. the same exact thing it, that I've been thinking of. Except is this not replace, bad? Replace dog with girlfriend. <laughs> but it is, I mean, everything is the same. They have that in Japan, don't they? Listen, th yeah, they do have that in Japan. They've been working on that forever, the Japanese, uh, <laughs> the uh, robotic girlfriend. But this is for real. You would never have, the dog would not get sick. You'd have no vet bills. It doesn't die. Sony came out with a dog you, like this like yeah, 10 but this years is, ago. No, no, they didn't. They came out with a robot that looked like a robot that was hard like a you're rock. Right. You're right. It was not anything. It was basically it's just like a, Ico, a toy. Ibo, Ibo, Ibo. It was a toy. I'm talking about having an indistinguishable from a real dog other yeah. than the fact that you know. <laughs> Here's here's the small flaw. Yes, I know the small flaw already, but you what, say it. Okay, I'll say it. Is yeah. the technology to make an indistinguishable dog? Well, no, is that's not, not with the flaw. With us right now, that's that not the flaw. the flaw. That's not oh. the flaw. Because <laughs> uh, I mean, you can make a Teddy Ruxpin. That's what I'm thinking of, right? Well, it would be well, but Teddy, th Teddy Ruxpin was in the 80s. This is 2024. I know. I know. Well, but it's the it's the you can quote, make a kick ass. Look, look what Boston Robotics. As making yeah. robots that can do backflips right now. I don't know if you've seen that footage. Humanoid uh, robots? Yes, it's friggin' amazing. Yeah. So you can't tell me you can't make a robotic dog cover in really soft fur and make it look exactly like a regular dog and feel like you can. There's no question in my mind you can. Mm -hmm. You absolutely I, can. I, I, I think, think the think technology's that, there. You do. You yeah, think let's, you let's for the sake of argument, for the sake of argument for my topic, let's say that's not the detail. Let's okay. say the technology's there. Right. Would you so, get that instead of a regular dog? Would you prefer that? Would you think that would take off? That's my question. I think the point of having a pet <laughs> yes, is that you go. have a living thing that mm. loves you, right? This uh, thing would love you. This thing would love you. This thing would love you. Yeah, I think it would love you, and I think that yeah. they, it also wouldn't die. Correct. Which is actually well, really that's, that's big. Positive. Because dealing with death is the worst thing in the world. But and for kids. It, but what is it that the robotic dog gives you? It would give you the same love because it's, an, it, it's AI. It learns. It would it's, learn to fetch. It would, it would play but, fetch. It would, it would lick your face. The purpose, would, the, dog, the, the activities the dog performs is not why we get dogs, though. It's not that they fetch or that they 
but it would gradually learn on your lap. Mach- it's machine learning data and it would know you because that's what it sees that's the whole machine learning thing yeah uh Look, picture picture it like this okay here's where because <laughs> the one it's so funny you said the one detail and i immediately thought of what i thought of and that it's <laughs> that it's you know consciously that it's not a lot and yeah, that would yeah, that, that's, that, that would, is also that right. would slant how you view you view your dog but before like, you go on with that see the thing yeah, i could ahead. maybe suspend that disbelief i get that is if yep. it just looked like a dog like it was almost it, but that's my that's where i go to is that it, you can't make it. it's going to look like a robot no pretend it's indistinguishable me, I, now I'm pretending. okay then i go back would, to your would you want the a so my topic is this would you want the ai dog if it was indistinguishable versus a real dog what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, you mean like one over the other? You, you, right. In other words, you're going to get a dog. You can get this AI dog, which is indistinguishable from real dog, or you can get a real dog as we know know it today. And the AI dog, AI dog lives forever. Well, yeah, it lives as long as its battery lives, or it's, or it's a, yeah. If the AI dog sees you doing some illicit activity, would it record it, and can it be used against <laughs> you in the court of law? Well, that is uh, that is a question I did not see what? coming. No, question. unless why, you why programmed it to. Maybe you can program it to. I don't know. It's not the point. The it point is, the is point. A liability is like, a fucking real thing, Josh. <laughs> it, no, what is your actual dog recording you? No, but that's my point. That's why I love him so much. He doesn't judge. <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah. This this dog will not judge either. And he cannot record anything. Audio? No, he can't record <laughs> record anything. He's okay. not a recording device. Well, I'm saying Alexa is. Yes, but he's not an Alexa. Okay, so he can't record anything audio or video. No, no. the whole purpose of him is to can, be can the dog testify dog. against you. No. Okay, I'm in. Nor would it because it's going to be your best friend. Nor would I'm it. I'm in. If it's indistinguishable and yes. it can record my activities audio yes. visually, yes, I would rather have it. I'd rather have my dog forever. Right. But would you feel, would there be something missing in the relationship? That's my, that's the one thing I keep thinking about. No, would there be no. just the something Listen, all of missing. my, all of my relationships have no warmth to them anyway. So this would be indistinguishable from anything else. <laughs> if it's furry, it it's furry. Yeah. I, I can't tell from Chachi boy. I'm in. Yeah. If all right. What do you jump think? Jump up Dave? on the bed and like, you know, you know, want to play fetch. Yeah. We'll do all that. It would do. Can all I program that? the dog? Hold on a second. That's another of my problems with Miles. Can I program him to only approach attractive women? Yes. Well, oh. you'd ha- that'd be very difficult because you'd have to determine what's attractive and what is. No, well, that's all. It's based on symmetry and, and height and weight. <laughs> I, would, I would 100% go for the AI dog. 100%. Yeah, yeah, th- think I'm about, surprised think, Omar would do think, that. Think about the ease of your life with an yeah. AI dog. You, you know how many obese people my dog has gone up to? It's horrible. <laughs> What it's do you, amazing. Do you, the, so it comes the, back, or do you just you, yeah? I like, I you keep it distance. Like it's not my dog. It's amazing the <laughs> angle you think of when I bring up these topics. It's yeah, it's nothing I would ever think that would be conversational. And you know what I thought about, by the way, when I did this, um, was the Jetsons. Remember the Jetsons, the yeah. cartoon, Astro. Rosie the robot. When you watched the Jetsons, you didn't think of Rosie as a robot. You thought of her as part of the family. And they treated her like she's part of the family. They treated her like they would anyone what about else. dog, too? No, they did well, not. That, have a that was Astro. That was Astro. The regular. Astro is a regular dog. Was, I, you're right. I, I was thinking, is he a robot dog? You were no, talking he's about a regular, he's a regular dog. Yeah. Right. He's a regular I think dog. what's actually kind of foreshadowing about the Jetsons, yeah. right, is that George Jetson yeah. used to go in a car. Yeah. That was a floating car. Correct. Flying. He would only, flying, he would only go where? To work. Yeah, it's basically sprockets. My point is, we are doing that today. What, what are you talking about? We all work from our homes. Well, you said he but takes he, his... But he takes a flying car to spacely yeah. sprockets. My point is, we don't need to take the flying car because our spacely sprockets is in our home already. Yeah, but that's, that's not what you <laughs> that's said. Okay. That's not what you Very said. roundabout way of making that point. Yeah, that's um, not what you said. So, all right, Dave, where, you know, where do you, where do you so, sit with the AI dog? This is where my mind went. If we're yeah. going to do this, yeah. I don't want – if you're going to make a fake something that can do all this, be real, then I don't want a, a dog, something that looks like just a dog. That's too normal. I want like a baby giraffe to run around. Or like, oh, that's weird. 
but why not? Why not have like oh, you want a baby giraffe? I suppose well, whatever. You, you baby could, elephant, but like what? You can why would you? Want. This is this how about a baby, baby tiger? How big the baby giraffe get? No, just stay baby. Well, here's well, well, first of all, it doesn't grow. It doesn't grow. How about those cute, cute little gremlins or a koala bear? I get a koala bear. That'd be cute. No, the gremlins, you put them on water, they become fucking bad. No, you know, I it, would program them not to multiply with water. It's really amazing. When I thought of my topic, I did not think of any of these retorts that the two of you <laughs> idiots are coming back with. <laughs> what a baby giraffe. Why not? a giraffe walking around their house. Well, what do you want a poodle? That's not because that's it's all because. Because that's what you want. You want a dog. A dog is 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 great. You play fetch with. The, I don't play fetch with a koala bear. Wait, if you got a a collie or yeah, you know, that's that's just everyone. Those are just a single set of of breeds. Like you could, if it's a robot, you can get anything. You no, know, I will one. say I'm watching that new that's show. True. I new suppose show that's on true. Apple TV called Bad Monkey with Vince Vaughn. And what monkey is, is a good one. I like a, a monkey, I like an AI monkey. A, tr- a train monkey that's okay. on the shoulder. I would love to be that guy. Yeah, and I, you know what I would do? I have a fucking eye patch. Yeah, It'd be fucking awesome. You get yeah, a I could see that. You need the eye patch. With it. That's true. I, L- listen, I'm all in on the AI monkey. No, I'm. I take back anything I said in the dog. AI monkey, sign me up. I'm. I'm there. That has, all right, it's so, got so, thumbs. Can so do you, stuff. So you're buying into this concept. Um, I think it's I'm coming around. If it's a monkey, I think a dog. <laughs> I would do it because I like any new technology. I would do it because I'd want to. I'd want right, to do it. It would drive my kids nuts. I'd do but it. again, let's not think of it as technology. Let's mm-hmm. think of it as getting a dog that ha- that it's that has all the the benefits of a dog without all the negatives of a dog. See I what don't I'm think saying? I'd feel the love of an AI dog. See, that's my. That's okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That's my point. What is that noise? <laughs> God, Omar, sorry. turn sorry. that shit sorry. off. Are you nuts? <laughs> it's 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 without fail, <laughs> without fail. Country without music fail. just broke out for no reason. At your Unbelievable! Place. Stop looking at other shit. This is the ADD with what what people I'm don't not realize. Looking at anything? You, you, somebody, you have ADD. Somebody sent me something. It popped up you, on my don't screen. Don't open it. I thought it was porn. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was Listen, the whole point. Related. This is my this is my point. Is that. I thought that too, Dave. I thought the lo- you can't have real love for a, a robot like that. Be- but then I looked at the Jetsons, and they treat Rosie just like they would any mm. other family member. They- she became mm. no longer a robot in their eyes. Mm. And when you Do watch any of your show- friends have nannies? No. <laughs> my, my, my friends that are in, my, in the 50s? Uh, Oh, you 50? mean for their family? Yes, I have friends who have nannies. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, for their oh, nannies. I didn't know for their kids. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I know people with nannies. Do they treat their nannies like part of the family? Yes, but some some of them do, some of them don't. But that's not the point. They're not robots. Well, nannies some are real people. people. Are. Nannies are real people. And I Rosie- would argue some. I've seen how some people treat their nannies. It's not like real people. <laughs> what does this have to do with a, with, with an AI dog? I'm saying I want an AI nanny. He doesn't have any kids. No, I want someone to take care of me. <laughs> That's different. You Don't see Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. So Don't you po- think if that was the case, Omar? Let me put it in your terms. Don't you think you would you would have some sort of um some sort of affection for that for that nanny? Yeah, mother an AI nanny. Yeah, they yeah, cook for me. My, that's my point. And this is actually much smarter than an AI dog. How do you I would know? Love to have an AI nanny. Someone who can cook like my mom can ask, actually take, you know, ask me if I'm eating right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But the difference is with the, a, a nanny's not a problem when you go away or when it's cold outside, you don't feel like taking the nanny out for a walk. The problem I saw with dogs is this problem of being tethered to them and not being able to just move freely wherever the hell you want because of the dog. The AI dog solves that problem. Yeah. Right. Well, can I can I take this to a darker place that I yeah, think is can. actually going to happen? I yeah. think that in the near future, you know mm-hmm. how kids are like, oh, they're always on TV, and now we're always on their computers. Uh, we yeah. say, oh, they're on social media too much. I think someday we're going to say, the problem with my kids is all their friends are robots. Like all they do is hang out with AI personalities that they talk to. They don't actually talk to real people. I think wow. that is coming. Mm-hmm. And that will be like a, uh, a 
a national crisis is that young people no longer talk to each other. They talk to Robots. their friends that are just yeah. amped personalities. Yeah. That's that. Oh boy, that nice. was a dark place you took us to. I think that's I common. Know. Yeah, I don't like it. All right. yeah, population well, is going to shrink because no one's going to have kids. It's all gonna no be... one's going to have the, a reason to go out and meet people. Right. That's right. Dating yeah. will be scary. I, I can stay well, home and, and yeah. I, I thought I had a very joyous topic, uh, <laughs> a solution. You just just took it down the. Well, I didn't take it down real. a legal uh, place that Omar took. That I've yeah, committed crimes in his house apparently. Yeah, so, that's you know, I'm I'm simply thinking from a liability perspective, guys. That's all. All right. Anyway, well, all right. What I, are you worried I, about? We, we beat the hell out of that. All right, sorry, Josh. I, <laughs> sounds like a lovely idea. Did thank you? That? Is that thank okay. you? Thank you? Thank you? All right, Omar. Do you have a topic this week? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it sound like that. I'm in Minnesota. I have, I have, you know, I like to have a, um, I have a couple of things, but I, I will. I will start with choose the worst one. The worst one? Yeah, because I always say choose the best one. You never do. So let me see if I can do a reverse well, psychology. Okay, that. I'll get it's about my my dad. Spend time with him. Okay. Okay. That's mm -hmm. number one. Number two is uh whether or not you would prefer to get a compliment on your on what you're wearing or your personality. Yeah, what, okay. Is this the multiple choice? No, we, which one you prefer. Oh, okay. I prefer your dad. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you, you want the clothes? <laughs> no, all, no, all your personality. Right, like, what do you prefer? Yeah, I get right. that. Is like, that the question you want to ask us? Or is what's your topic? Just grab one. Pick one. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go with my father. It's, there it, you go. There's, That's it's more personal. It's a, uh, a bit... Uh, So, so, so my father and I yes. have been spending a lot of time together recently. Right. And so, um, he's 86, right. And, and he wants to spend more time with his son and that's me. That's you. And yep. so I ever the dutiful son and like, of course, dad, yeah, stay with me. That's nice. That's a nice right? sentiment. Now, my father is an unusual father in some ways <laughs> one of his key differentiators i would say is he only he you know i've told you about his car obsession he's eight he has yes. 13 cars yep i've told you about his pant and shorts yes session he has 120 clocks, pairs phones. of clocks and phones yep right yep he has you know 17 boxes of sardines from costco <laughs> You know, but to me, one of the more challenging things about spending time with him is he wants to watch TV, movies, only movies, yeah, with yeah. zero dialogue. <laughs> right, I remember zero. you telling. Yes, like yeah. Jason Bourne didn't Watch have had too much talking. No, Cast too away. much talking. Too much talking. Jeez. And it's funny is I think about David when he reviewed Jason Bourne, the third one. Yeah. He yeah. said, I remember David's like, it's one of the, usually what David says to me, I forget because it's also forgetful, forgettable. But he goes, <laughs> in the Jason Bourne number three movie, there's a lot of people just walking around real fast. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> David, that's right, right? Is that what you said? Always walk it's with so the, with good. The, I don't get the it. Music. But you love Fury Road. And all it is is driving in a desert. Listen, you, you should not bring up Fury Road. You're wrong on that one. You should move on. It's, it's everyone crazy. Loves that movie. You... By the way, I don't, I don't want to – I'm going to say this real quick too, by the way. I don't want to step on Omar's topic. But I also watched that Everywhere All at Once or Everywhere Everything. Oh, I bet you hate I it. Didn't watch it. It's, I hated it so much. Oh, and I, didn't I, didn't love it. It. Uh, I, hate, I couldn't get through it. Anyway, I Omar, agree. go back to your dad. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So, no. so my <laughs> father is like – he own, so and like, you know, he's watched James Bond, you know, uh, 7,000 times. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yet, and yet I still spend a futile ha hours searching through Hulu, Netflix, Amazon prime, trying to find him a new movie. Okay. When there's yep. a 5% chance, he's going to like it. And he's going to make a point of telling me how he, it's not enough action. There's too much bullshit dialogue. 
Wow. So I have, so I invariably I put back on James Bond movies. Yeah. There's a lot of dialogue and, in James Bond, though. Not the old not all action. No, there's a lot of the action. The old ones are very slow. The old, slow. Ones. The old yeah. ones are very slow. Sean Connery are slow. He yeah. likes the Daniel Craig ones. Okay. All right. Really? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so my father's watching. He's up until 11 o'clock. I go to bed at 8. Why don't you show him Rambo? I got a better one. He doesn't John, like that kind of action. John Wick? He likes John Wick. There you Oopsie. go. Okay. okay. Now, one of the problems with this, my dad is elderly, so the volume's higher. It's high. It's high. I'm yeah. not sleeping at all when he's here. <laughs> my dad has to eat. So it's, I have to feed him breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I'm eating with him. I gained, yeah. I gained 12 pounds. Is, is, he, is he eating at unusual times, or at least they're, they're yeah. at unusual times? Yeah. yeah. Lots of nuts. Lots of. <laughs> my dad wants me to take him to Costco every day. Every day, every day, uh, Plus, and you, you guys haven't what? Do it, it, it's such a um, going to Costco every day is the complete reason why they built Costco, so you don't have to go every yeah. day. No, you no, buy in bulk. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And he asked, bulk, no, this bulk is, every, is day. every day. Yeah, but this oh, is something my dad God. wants to do with me. <sighs> well, he enjoys the time he spends with you. Now, I can't during the day because I have a. I have to be, I have responsibilities, unfortunately, yes. which is terrifying. But, but what's even more terrifying is yeah. that at the end of the day, he wants to go for a drive with his son. And I happen to be his son. Just a son. Yeah, right. But just a drive? A drive for at least an hour. An hour? Yeah. That's a long, that's a, a long, long drive. time. Yeah. And, and I don't know, David, but your father, I couldn't tell. How old is your father, David? 85. There you go. Right Same around age. my dad's age. Same age. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My dad, and I don't mean to offend, so I'll, I'll, I will I will parse my words here, but I will say he's a walking gas factory. <laughs> All right. And so, like, I have, I've even in a you know in a subtle way, been like, Dad, what is going on? He goes, and he says to me, quite directly, he goes, I can't help it. It's all the beefarino you're getting at Costco. Now, now, so my thing is, it's bad enough when I'm in my house, right? Because yeah. my dad walks around the house. He walks like four miles. And then he's always walking. Yeah. Of course, whenever I get up, he happens to be walking right into me, right? Oh, Wherever yeah. I am, you know, walking around his underwear. I'm on Zoom calls, oh, walking boy. around. Again, it's fine. Oh, my God. Now, but the bigger challenge for me yeah. is when we go on a drive, I'm in a car with him. And he's having this gas, so ungodly smells. Get the windows down. You're, you're, I you're, do. You're in a warm but climate. It's also hot as fuck. Here's what you need to do, okay? You're making him meals, right? No, I, I don't know how to cook. But you're, you're providing him meals. Yes. That's what I mean. Okay. No, he only wants red meat. To him, that Fine. provides him power. You're not listening to me. <laughs> there are supplements you can buy that you can put in, that, in the food. What? I put a pail into a steak. What are you talking about? No, what I'm talking about is I can't remember what it's called, like gas X. Yeah, gas X. Yeah, there's there's shit like that you can put in food that he will be none the wiser. You want Omar to roofie his father? Not roofie, not roofie, not roofie that will cure the gas. Well, it's not maybe the drug, but you're you're saying ground up gas X into his nuts. That's we exactly. <laughs> we went to you guys don't understand That's he exactly only, what I'm saying like, he only <laughs> wants to go to when we're driving to get food at Burger King. Oh God! Okay, Why does he and, the, King? and this is another thing. He assumes the Costco is the same as the Costco in the U.S. Burger King, same in the U.S. We go to Burger King. It's different in Puerto Rico. Orders the fries yeah. and the burger. He tells them. Extra crispy. They don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, because they only make them one way. It's burger. Sent not, fries not taking, back. Yeah, three times. You can't send. You can't. You, I'm you can't send food back and burger. Shit. <laughs> okay. And then he gets the burger. His Whopper. He opens the Whopper. Yeah. At the counter. Yeah. And begins to send that back. Can, because can I, there's not enough lettuce. And I go, Dad. We oh can't do this. Yeah, it's Burger King. 
This is Burger King. <laughs> it's Burger King. <laughs> it's Burger King. <laughs> it's first of all, Omar. Here's the craziest part about this whole thing. Can I tell you the craziest part? What? You were debating whether to talk about this or whether we, we want people to compliment our shirts. This <laughs> is gold, my friend. This is gold. And you want us to talk about whether we like people like our shirts? My, my dad, when I called him out on him sending the burger back, oh my because God. he didn't have enough lettuce. You know what he did? No. He seems upset at me for trying to manage him. Yeah. He throws the burger on the ground. No, he didn't. Whoa. No, he didn't. Did he make a scene? I mean, were there, every, was, was everyone staring? Out. He threw the burger on the ground and walked down. Mm -hmm. Did, did he, he spike it like a football, or did he just kind of slide it off the end of the table? Yeah. Like, subtly. Did what he push the... it like push it off the table? And he goes, I don't want to be here with you. So he goes back to the car. Ugh. And I, I apologize to the staff, right? Yeah. And I offered to get it up. And it didn't really, it was not big of a mess. But my point is, I get back to the car. Yeah. And he goes to me, did they give you another burger? <laughs> <laughs> I go, what? He no. Goes, no. He goes, did they give you a, a refund? A refund? I go, what the fuck? I go, dad. He goes, that was $8. They should give how me restaurants work. I'm like, dad, you want to know what they did? Yes. Oh, I was just going to yeah, say, good couldn't move. even move. begin. Yeah. Smart. Right? So yeah. my point is, James Bond, look, look, I'm not going to ruin a, f a 52 year track record of being the favorite child. Okay. And I am the favorite child, mom and dad. For now. I'm number one. For now. By can fucking I up. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Does he pull these uh, shenanigans with your sisters? Yeah. He does. Okay. He so less with me. They have more patience with him, though. Oh, so they'll 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 appease him. Yeah, I don't think I'm very empathic. I, I'm not, I'm not very patient. You're not, but you're you're probably not also yelling at your dad. Or no. are you? Yeah. No. So that's, no. So that, no. There's no, a patience there. Dad. There's a patience there. Then. Yeah. 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 Because that's a yellable moment for anyone else. Yeah. I mean, like, it's a thing. So I. I so he's coming back. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, yeah. He'll be here a lot. <laughs> okay. He'll be here a lot. He loves make... Green Cone. He loves San Juan. You... The thing Why is, don't... my sisters, he can stay with both of them. Yeah. But my sisters have, like, and their husbands have, like, real jobs. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have a real job. Yeah, you right. can be, you're around. I'm at my desk the whole day. Yeah, you're yeah. around. So my dad yeah. loves it because, understandably, he's around his favorite child. Yep. Yep. Right. And what, what, a dream. what else is he going to do? Here's what you need to do. Get a real job. Uh, I have a thought too. Oh, go ahead, Dave. You, you, you want to go first? first. Yeah, yeah. You tackle this first. So he comes to your house in Puerto yeah. Rico. Let's say he comes on a Sunday. I love. I love. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. It sounds like you love it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds uh, like oh, it. the other thing is my dad doesn't believe in showering. Ugh. Get out of here. Because he says it takes the oil away from his skin and his hair. Yeah, but you say that too. Well, but he doesn't use soap or water. Oh, come on. Well, and he doesn't, so believe, he doesn't believe it. He no soap believe, or water. He doesn't believe in any perspiration. No. He says, he says the chemicals are bad for his skin. No, come on. Uh, you're making this up. I'm not making be. it up. Has he been it this way the not. whole time or is this an old Last like 20 thing? years, yeah. 20 years? Yeah. So this I will guy, shower, but like, you have to force him to kind of do it, right? Oh, God. With the hose? I mean, no. so it, so it sounds like he's the most stubborn man on the planet. Yeah. Is that fair? I mean, you can't just sit him down and go, I, I'm stepping over, Dave, Dave was going to give you a solution, but you can't just sit him down and go, Dad, listen, I'm your son, I love you, and I'm going to tell you this in love, but here are the things that um, are really messed up. And I would suggest you, you think about changing. I'm it. trying. He won't let us sell the house. That's different. He's, there's no one living there anymore. He's it's different keeping story. it so he can hoard. But it's also a sentimental thing. It's also an emotional thing. Yeah. yeah. So there's gonna, that will take time. 
but farting I- I- and giving you Dutch <laughs> ovens and uh, and throwing burgers on the floor. Is it? Can you ask your dad? Has to do with shit. Dave, can you ask your father if he can control his gas? Yeah, my not well. It's hard to control rather, gas. <laughs> rather not get into that topic. Dave, uh, what was your solution to this? I so he's coming on Sunday. Say so stays till Friday or however long he is. I think you have to make plans when he's with you. You can't just, this is, I'm doing my thing. You're with me. He's going to default to all his stuff. I think every day you're going to plan something that tires him out. Something what? like it's not just a drive. You're driving someplace. We're going for a long walk. Like we're, uh, we're going, I don't know, whatever it is. Like you got to have a plan with him. What the hell you are you just, talking about? Plan? Yes, you, every day you have something that you do, he, something he, activity. He does, something Dave. To, it's it's called Costco, Burger King, and James Bond. I think yes. you gotta like. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, no, that's no, the you plan. Gotta that's all he wants to do. That's where they go by default because there's no plans. You don't even want to do, do anything else. Here's what but you have to do. No, you say, "Hey, on Monday we're doing this." You will go you know Costco. Whatever do? we're doing, Omar. This. Yeah. You got to get him a hobby of some sort that he really sinks his teeth. He's into. eighty-six years old. So my dad, my dad plays canasta every, every day. Your dad, your dad what? Plays canasta. Would your dad play canasta or, or, or is that that fucking drink? Shasta. It's a, it's a card game. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a card game. A card game. Card <laughs> game. Bingo shit is this? <laughs> talking about what, what? David, your do you dad, know this game yes it's a game he's it's heard a, of canasta 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 it's like yes. what the hell is wrong with you See, it's no, like my dad's not playing fucking canasta listen to me get him a friggin hobby that's not throwing burgers on the ground and and making your car into a hot box <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea it's like get him a burger. hobby Every three minutes, I got to roll my window down, turn the AC on super Get high. The guy, a hobby. And I feel bad because I'm making him feel aware of it. It's just it's not. But anyway, it's, it's wonderful. These are just, look, I mean, we all it sounds handle amazing. these things. Yeah, sounds amazing. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. Yeah. In it the is end, amazing. It's all. My dad Here's the deal, hilarious. Omar. You only get one dad. Cherish him because, you know, one day you're going you're gonna to miss that uh, um, fart smell. No. You're gonna miss. You're gonna miss that Dutch oven. <laughs> Hobby's not bad. I think plans another. I tell you, if there's any, can you imagine if he got and his 86 year old got into video games? You're set because video yeah. games is the all. That's what I'm saying. Stuff. Yeah, Bobby, that's what, my that's what... dad. I I want him to wear my LW three hats. Yeah, he is still wearing his USS Arizona. Okay. Oh, you know, it's, 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 I go, Dad. Why won't you wear it? He goes, because I like to be recognized for the service, my service. But he hasn't been in the service. We talked about this. It's yeah. hilarious. Your dad's hilarious, by the way. For an yeah. outsider, he's hilarious. He's he someone who has to live with it. I no, guess he is hilarious. He is insane, he's, though. But he is he's hilarious. hilarious. I think out of all my friends, parents, my father is the most insane. You need – here's what you need to do. I was a great father. Very, you, very um, – so He's an awesome father. When we interviewed him on the show in season one, if anyone's interested, go back and, and listen to that episode. But you need to find him a hobby. I know it's going to be hard to do, but if you find him something that he can get Fuck. some pa- passion about – Can you about, please correct, John? Could you imagine finding your dad a hobby right now? What are you, you talking can do it. about? What are you talking about? There's, there's plenty of things you can do that, that aren't um, – taxing or that aren't that they aren't expensive or they're James they're just, Bond. That's not a hobby. James Bond is, is not a, <laughs> a, a video, video game. game, James Bond. There you, you go. Be, why don't you why don't you buy him a PS5 and get him James <laughs> Bond the video game? I bet he'd love it. It's all action. There's no dialogue at all in that yeah. game. All right. There's your answer. There's your all answer. Right. You satisfied? Go you got it? Run David. with that. All right. My topic. <laughs> I'll be quick with mine because we're going late and uh, everyone is probably sick of hearing just me have a one-way conversation to my laptop. Oh, my Um, God. So I went to Disney World. Yes. Uh, I got that. That's right. And uh, turns out it's not as uh, uncrowded as I thought in August. I should have waited a few more weeks for it. And it was hot. Oh, my gosh. Mm. It was hot. Boy, Florida in August. Who would would have thought? I know. I I thought maybe (laughs) I'd catch a break, but I did not. But here's the thing, and Josh, I forget if this was something related to your topic, but there is okay. something 
that really bothered me when I was there. And my daughter, who of course is, I mean, the kids her generation have lots of issues, but one is I think they are uh, very sympathetic to everyone. You know, they, if yes. someone has an issue, they're like, you know, that's, don't judge them. Like, to you know, a fault. Give me a, what I does would, that mean? To like, a like, fault. Somebody's handicapped? Like, if they're taking too long? Well, right? okay. Like, so, Go ahead. I so, think he's taking us there. I think he's walking us down that path right now. It, did you talk about this too, Josh? Because I... Keep going. I don't know. I'm, I'm, we're getting on the bus. We're all standing. And I would say... You're talking about the bus from the park to the hotel or the hotel to from the, park. the hotel to the park. Right? Okay. Got it. You get, it's the Disney bus. Yep. And you get on and, uh, and there is quite a few people that are in like wheelchairs or scooters, right? Yes. You, or you sit the scooters that are like, it's amazing up, right? how many scooter ridden people go to Disney world. How yeah. many of them actually need to have scooters versus have chosen? Oh. Wait, 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 you're stepping on my topic. So, yeah. so my first comment to my daughter was, you know, because, you know, you, we have to, we can't get on the bus until this one person who's in a wheelchair gets on the bus. And yes. It takes like, you know, 10 minutes. It and takes so, a while. They got to raise that platform. And Ooh. yeah, the bus got to go down. <laughs> yeah, it takes a, yeah, that's <laughs> right. It takes and they get on and then we go on. And that's why I was like, you know, it'd be, be I wonder if they should have like a separate bus. Separate bus. Or, right. Like, you know, yeah. so that, you know, the rest of us who are ready to go could go. Of course, you know, I should have said. Why don't we take them out back and shoot them all? Like that's what my daughter. <laughs> that's, what she, that's what she heard. That's exactly what she, what she heard. Yeah, of course. That's right. I'm, yes. So then I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, never mind. I just I didn't say it out loud. I didn't say it to them. I just yeah. said it to, to you and your mother, and yeah. now I regret it. All you right? should be allowed to say stuff like that. I well, and now on the podcast, which is probably a problem. That's just fine. Yeah. Um. So then we um we get to the park. And when you're in the line and you're in the serpentine, you know, yes. line that takes two hours long, yep. there are people in scooters in that line. That's right. I'm telling you, there are people taking advantage of the scooter rights at Disney No World. question. There are no people in the line? Question. Well, it, no. Some of them were in the same line as we were, just going so around the poles. If you're in a scooter, you don't get preferred access? Well, you might. But what I saw were people in the normal line oh, sitting in a scooter. Interesting. Had you know, like all their kids' bags and stuff in the scooter. So these are right. young people. So it's such a hack. I, I was thinking it's the same thing that happens at Southwest. People are abusing. Yes. The I got to get on first because I have yeah. an issue, and they and just they limp, know they limp up. Yeah. I don't yeah. think they limp anymore. They just say, "Look, I yeah. got to get on. I need extra yeah. time." I'm and pre, so they're I'm taking pre advantage of it. No one checks. Yep. They can't check. I don't think they, they can't check. Anymore. Yeah. They can't legally ask. Brett does this. Like, Walmart. He gets what? a scooter. Yeah. Why does he do that? Because it's he doesn't want to walk around Walmart. He just gets in a scooter. He drives around. I swear to God, it's brilliant. Oh my gosh, I, that's I, ridiculous. Well, I, I, so I was thinking, I was I've thinking, well, it's so much fun. Well, of I want to get a fun. scooter. Of course, I would get a scooter. I could put all my stuff in there. Yep. Yeah, and I can I just cruise around Disney World. It's yeah, because it's and, exhausting. And were, it's a, it's it's a, it's so a lot of walking. Smart. You know what? You yeah. gave me an idea. Now maybe I will go to Disney World just to do this. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're, I'll be mad at you because yeah. there was. I tell you, there was like this. Husband and wife, and they could yeah. not have been more than thirty-five years old. Each Come on a scooter, on. board. Is, I'm kid. I kid you not. And they were. I was standing in line. I looked at my daughter, and she's like, "Don't say anything like this. You don't. You <laughs> she don't knew what you're know. thinking. She you knew don't what know. You're Maybe thinking. they both have something going on. I was like, True. There's it no may, way. They might. They very well could. You have no clue. Okay, I have a question. Was, what is a way? Don't. What is a way of testing that couple? Here's how you test them. It's called the old Mike Brady. And yeah. if you, there was an old episode of uh -huh. the Brady Bunch uh -huh. where they were taken to court by a woman in a wheelchair. Who, I can't remember why she was suing them. But Mike Brady takes a notebook and no, it throws briefcase. it on the floor. Briefcase. Briefcase. Yeah. Very good. On the floor behind her. Or him, I don't remember. And he jumps out of the wheelchair or whatever. And he's, Aha, he had a you're neck, not. Yeah. Go, you, you, neck brace. Neck that's brace it. I'm ruining the whole thing. Yes. I just remember the basic. He turned his head on the neck brace, and then he, there you go. So you yeah, do the Mike right. Brady. Hmm. You scare well, them yeah. and see if they jump out of the wheel, out of the cart. Yeah. Fire. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. You know what you do? Is I just you, told you what you do. I'll tell you what you do. Ready? <laughs> yeah. You take those snap, those snap pops. Yeah. Yeah, and you and you and you have them. That's in, good. 
And when they hear that in their yep. in their wheel electric wheel thing, they'll jump out. You think? Yeah, that- that's right. That's another good. It's a, it's a great. It's a another uh, uh, ploy. I was I like thinking it. maybe take them to the top of a hill and then mm. push and see. So let me ask you a question. How? Give me the percentage of people you saw on scooters that you think are milking the system. Oh, 75%. More, 75%? Wow. Honestly. And I, well, here's the thing. Here's my other definition of people that were interested in scooter. They were people who were overweight and didn't want to walk. And to me, that I think is like pushing it as well. So right? you're Just counting because... you're counting them in the seventy five percent. Oh, you're saying it was really hot though, David. <clears throat> it's yeah, it's 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 August in in Florida. Yes, but why? It, these were young the surface people of the sun that were overweight, and they get how the much scooter. overweight? Well, it wasn't like you know the shows were they we watched spilling Josh over did. the scooter. Mm, no, no, just unhealthy. Okay, just... but not to the point where you're like, boy, that person would never make it Correct. through the park. It was like, you know, this is, it's uncomfortable for me to walk because, you know, I'm out of yeah. shape. I'm going to get a right. scooter. I, I and my that's, thighs change. That's abusing it too. Yeah. Edit this all out if I'm going to get in trouble. You're not. But, I think this is okay. perfectly legitimate. Perfectly legitimate. <laughs> I do. So I, I honestly do. them as well. And there's so a I guy. There's a guy. I have season tickets to the Eagles. And my seats are right next to the handicap section. And there's a guy who's had season tickets forever, for as long as I've been there. And I've been there for 20 plus years. And he comes in a wheelchair, ever of scooter, motorized scooter slash wheelchair, every game. And he pulls up and he decorates it. It's all in Eagles garb. And every time the play happens, good or bad, he jumps out of the chair and he stomps around. And I just go, and I've got video of him because I took it. I, the, my buddy, I go, look at this guy. This is unbelievable. There is no way this guy is handicapped. Mm-hmm. He's, not, he's not disabled because he keeps jumping out of the chair and he marches around. And sometimes he gets out of the chair and it's like complete uh, disregard. There's all kinds of things. Maybe one of his legs is like a, an inch shorter than the other. And that that requires you taking a spot in the handicap That section. qualifies you as being disabled. Well, qualified and needing it are two different things. Yeah. Well, welcome to fucking America, Josh. <laughs> I think that's my point is just that's because I would point. rather have one doesn't mean you should. David, right. would, David yes, would rather live in the Soviet Union. <laughs> so did you did you did you uh did you make more comments as you saw more and your daughter just just to push your daughter's buttons because that's what no I, I there were a few times where i just i wanted to you know express my displeasure in some way but yes, my daughter course. was on to me. as soon as she knew this was an issue she was on to me she was yeah. the yeah she was uh wonder woman's bracelets and i was the bullet like she was gonna yeah. shield everyone from my <laughs> comments, so I I just let it go. But she, every you know, time we saw someone, she looked right at me. She would not let me say. No. You'd rather be sh- she'd be like that than the other extreme, though. Of course, yes. right? You know, she's what I a mean? very kind soul. Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. But you're, you're right. Fault. Kids of that age are a little. It's 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 almost it's too much. It's too fault yeah. sometimes. So anyway, my, my, I was gonna say my topic is should I be that way? But I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna keep being that way. I you should like- be. You should be the way you are. Because that's be the right way to be. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the right way to, to question things. I think there's nothing wrong with that. And now, that if you is went, America, right? Yeah. If to you be went outraged. and called them out, if you went up to the people and called them out and yanked them out of the, the chair, different story. I'm not sure yeah. I could agree with you. True. But to say something to your wife and go, that's a normal thing to do. I don't care what anybody says. That's why you're married to her, David. Don't fuck that up like everything else you've done. <laughs> 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 that's a little harsher than I needed, but okay, oh boy, fair enough, that's fair a good. <laughs> I think we all need to go to bed. I think um, so too. That was a good closer. We are, yes. Yeah, so thank you. Um, all right. So just to review, uh, you've listened to uh, FTS episode seventy-five. Uh, email address: friends at fts media. Check Love out our from YouTube, me. Instagram, TikTok, and at friends talking shop. Lots of content that Omar and Josh inspire. One does yes. more work than the other, but I'll give Omar credit to inspiration. And uh, we look forward to talking to you next time. Until that time, see you, everybody. See ya. Smile later.